Hello there. Welcome to the moment of grace. I've come to announce to you today that your healing is here. And I'm going to read to you from the book of Jeremiah and chapter 30 from verses 16 and 17. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all your adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil you shall be spoiled. And all they that pray upon you, I give for a prayer says the Lord, for I will restore health unto you and I will heal you of your wound says the Lord, because they call you an outcast saying this is Zion, whom no man seek after. God's perfect plan is that his people are hale and healthy. He wants you old. He wants you healthy. God doesn't want you weak, sick, especially in your body. It takes a very functional body, my friend, to fulfill your purpose on the earth. And God wants you to fulfill your purpose. So he wants you to be healed and healthy and strong and healthy. He therefore is committed to healing you. Whatsoever has been devoured in your body is now being restored by the hand of God. Whatsoever is held bound in your body is now being set free by the hand of God. Whatsoever is robbing you of your health is now destroyed. Whatsoever has robbed you of your bodily health before and your wholeness is now cursed for your sake. And what Whatsoever has been taken off you as health, whatsoever has been devoured of you, robbed you, spoiled of you as health and wholeness is now being restored. Whatsoever wound you are nursing is now being healed. The healing comes with favor. He said it was Zion that was forsaken that God turned to. That means there's restoration of dignity. There's restoration of strength. There's restoration of wealth. There's restoration of influence. Also with the restoration of your health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Know of a shorty, my friend, that for this cause the Son of God Jesus was manifest, that he might destroy the works of the devil in your body and therefore he himself took your infirmity and bore your griefs and chastisement of your peace was laid upon him. So therefore God is saying I'm committed to healing your wound. Somebody hearing me, your wound might not be physical. It might be in your mind, in your emotion. It might be bereavement. It might be being forsaken. It might be being disappointed, rejected, refused have come to announce to you that the best thing for you to get is not to get even but to get healed. It's not to become the victim but to be healed. And God says I'm committed to your healing. So therefore I pray for you today that the healing hand of God rests upon you. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, in your emotion be healed. Be healed in your mind. Some of you have suffered financial sickness, catastrophe in investment. I command healing and restoration for you. Some of you have been spoiled, duped, robbed. I command restoration for you. And those who duped you, those who robbed you, they are going into captivity. The judgment hand of God rests upon them for evil now. Even as the hand of God rests upon you for good. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke the devourer and I bind the wicked and I cast his work out of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, be made whole and be healed today because that is the commitment of God towards you in Christ Jesus. I'm Yinka Kitori and I pastor Dadem Church and I want you to go on our website www.ministry.org and listen to some messages there that will just bless you tremendously. If you go on Amazon, our latest book, Noah Template of Enterprise Success is a must have for everybody. Go get your copy and get for somebody till I see you next time. The Lord bless you.